Hi, hello, and welcome. I'm definitely not Vlad, and you're watching me bug my way to 2.8k rating on a Guardian Druid in Dragonflight Season 2. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, I did change my hair again. Thank you for noticing. <coughs> this episode, we're going to try and do a 20 Brackenhide. I've already made a route in Mythic Dungeon Tools, but I'm going to try it out in a 17 or something just to make sure that it actually works. I just finished my Brackenhide Hollow 17 run to get familiar with the dungeon, get a feel for the Bloodlust timers. I think I have a pretty good grasp of it, and this is my route. Recently, Purist Nully on YouTube messaged me on Discord and uh, let me know about a tool that actually helps you figure out which route to take for which affix. It's really, really useful. It's a great tool. I recommend it. It's called Keystone.Guru, and it's pretty much everything you need to know about routes. It's pretty, pretty cool. For this round, I'm opting not to use that. If there's overlap with like a really popular route on Keystone Guru, it's by accident. I just really like this route. Part of the fun of running these dungeons for me is just figuring out what routes to do. So having a website tell me exactly what to do, I don't really like that. Although if I was running like a 25, I'd be looking at Keystone Guru to make sure that I'm optimizing my route. Anyway, there's not much to really talk about here. I think that the only thing I can really point out is the spots where I would like to use a Bloodlust. Obviously the first pull is the biggest candidate. The only caster is the Mystic. There is also the Bone Bolt Hunter, but he tends to run more than he tends to shoot, so he's easy to keep on top of the rest of them. Big thing to look out for is the War Scourge Fear. Also, as a Guardian Druid, you can actually get rid of Rage Storm. It's considered an Enrage effect, so you can just use Soothe on it. This is a spot where I could potentially, depending on the group's cooldowns, pull both of these together, like 4 and 5, but it really depends on the cooldowns, and I need to be careful about that. So if I don't think the group is ready or has enough damage to kill them quickly, I'm not going to pull these together. I'm going to segment them just to keep things nice and safe. Depending on how quickly the dungeon is progressing, how quickly we'll ki we're killing stuff, pull number 8 or pull number 11 are uh, spots where I would like the bloodlust. Pull number 8 does take a long time to put together, so I'd much prefer uh, pull number 11. And there's also more high HP enemies in pull number 11. There's two Wiltadokes here, there's only one and a couple of these. And the final spot for bloodlust is definitely this room here before the boss. If the group also has a lot of cooldowns and not just bloodlust, we'll be probably combining pull number 18 and pull number 17. So that's the idea with Brackenhide Hollow. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okie dokie, getting started with a Brackenhide Hollow 20. I've talked to the group, told them when to bloodlust, uh, according to my route plan. And we'll see how we execute. I could uh, body pull here, I don't like risking it, because sometimes people get a bit trigger happy. We're looking for this bone crusher, we're looking for this, we're gonna go to town here. There's the Bloodlust, just gonna group into this. Decent stacks of iron for here, we're gonna use our AOE CC to interrupt those uh, guys that focus other people. I'm gonna remove one of these Rage Storms. I'm gonna try and move them a little bit here. I failed to remove a Rage Storm, I soothed some random enemy that didn't do shit. Okay. This guy's getting away from us, so we're going to charge him to immobilize him, and we're going to interrupt the sphere. Okay. First pull down, we only lost one person. We're going to remove this rage storm. There we go, as soon as it goes off. I have a tendency of using it before the cast goes off. I was pretty quiet there because I was just focusing on staying alive. The little blip you hear is me running out of iron fur. I just, I need that because otherwise I just don't use it enough. Okay, so we only have one death on this disgustingly annoying pull. This happened to me in the 17 as well. I accidentally left this claw guy away from the group. We're going to use some defensives here. Oh, Jesus. I went down. I wasn't paying enough attention. I'm going to try and move them on top of the totem. Keep our iron fur up. Pretty fast paced pulls so far. We have another person going down. Not sure what they died to, they need to release. Okay, that fear went through. Yes, I'm the only one that has a kick! Somebody used theirs, but they used it on something else. We're going to Frenzied Regen here, and we're going to go into Incarnation, and now we're pretty safe here. People need to just run back, I can survive this for a while. Need to keep iron fur up, keep frenzied region rolling because I have infinite frenzied region. Going to incapacitating roar this so my healer doesn't get instantly one shot. Get rid of that rage storm just to keep it a little bit safer for everyone. Healer's going down for the third time, I believe. I don't know why this is such a hard pull. I guess I can't really do this. 
that's something to look into for future runs. Okay, it looks like we have stabilized finally. Somebody kick that, thank you very much. Group is very spread, so we're not getting any value out of our MDs. That was rough. Okay, we're gonna slow down here for a second and reset. Try to stack for MDs, please. Waiting for the priest to show up. There's no reason to pull without the priest here. Once he's in the range to get buffed by my buff, that's when I'm going to go. Okay, we're going to bear form and start dragging this group over. Now we're, grab we're dragging this group over because there's no casters in here. So we may as well drag to a caster group. Or we just have to kick that one thing. You of course have to kick the War Scourge when he does his fear thing. But ideally that's... Uh, you know, with just two casters in the group, or two casts to look for in the group, somebody would take that. I'll take the War Scorch kick if nobody else does it. Otherwise, okay, somebody else did it, so I'm kick, gonna kick the Earth thing. As you can hear, I constantly forget to use my thingy thick. I'm gonna knock these guys back, not because I really need to, but I'd, I'd like to interrupt those casts of uh, Vicious whatever. I have Incarnation up. I'm not going to use it here because I need to charge this thing, but I can't. Enrage. Remove that enrage, keep everything in that blizzard. I don't want to use my cooldowns here because I'm going to do a big pull coming up next because we have uh, power infusion and void form coming up. Those are big AoE cooldowns, so we're going to do a big pull here. I'm just going to wait for everyone to kind of top off and level off and be ready for it. I'm going to grab that war scourge, going to grab this group, I'm going to pull that speaker, I'm going to incarnation, and let's get rolling. I'm gonna make sure I stack everything up. I'm going to switch to the War Scourge, move over to the Totem. I'll remove the Rage Storm as soon as I can right now. I'm looking for the Fear on this War Scourge, the one marked with a circle. I'm going to use my AoE group heal, interrupting that Fear right away so that people don't use their Fears on it or use their Interrupts on it and they get a different one. Hopefully, I'm going to incapacitating roar because there's some uh, fixations going out. I'm going to use survival instincts here. That was pure reflex because I got knocked up into the air and I was worried. There's a totem up in the back. I'm going to try and move things around. There's a lot of casters here, and I don't think this is a good pull. I don't. I don't think I'll be doing that again. I kind of got away with it the first time I did it, and I'm overdoing it. After I saw people go down a bunch in the first few pulls, I should have slowed down here. But we're we're just going to keep going. So far, so good. I ran out of self heals and I died. Over pull, maybe. Yeah, that's completely my bad. Definitely, if we don't time this, I'm blaming nobody but myself. I'm pulling way too aggressively. There's no reason to do that. This honestly should have just been a reset. Reset. Just stop, man. Please don't put me into combat. Please just reset. You have feign death. Just reset. Or actually die. Okay, he managed to reset it. Okay. Okay, we waste a lot of time on that. We have 13 deaths before the first boss. Not looking too hot, but I think it's still timeable. We have a lot of DPS. So I just need to stop being greedy about the pulls. I don't need to pull that big. The group isn't great with, with interrupts, so I should respect that. We also have three relatively... Two... Longish interrupts, one very long interrupt, and we have mine and the paladins. The paladin I don't expect to interrupt much because he's very busy healing, especially with my dumbass for getting to use iron fur enough. I'm going to save my interrupts for the war scourges because, to be honest, if anything killed us in the last pull, it was, well, obviously it was me over pulling, but if something was the key thing that killed us, it was the fear going off. Once the fear went off, it was pretty much over. Knocking these guys back because it'll slow them. If you, could, if you knock them back while they're casting it, you can actually interrupt the cast and you're good to go. Are we just not getting MDs? Are we going to get an MD now? Has the priest not been MDing these? Or does he just save it? I'm going to use Incarnation here. The raw chatting totem in there. Standing in here because I'm getting my. Uh, I wanted to position them on top of the totem. I 
got the kick on the fear, very good. Okay. Much more manageable now when I'm not being super greedy. I guess the start of every fucking run now is going to be me dying and then calming down. <laughs> I mean, at least I didn't die at the start of this run. That would have been horrible. With the bloodlust rolling and everything, it would be a repeat of the Neltharus. Okay. I want to pull this group and drag them away as soon as possible before the patrol comes over. We're going to look at that mystic. He's going to be interrupted as soon as he starts casting. Okay. Let's keep them going. Didn't immediately start using iron fur there, but it's two casters, so I don't really care. Slowly but surely, people are starting to use their interrupts. That's very good. I'll interrupt that. Keep it rolling. Thank you, Iron, for a weak aura. Man, this thing is a lifesaver. Imagine how many times I would have died by now if I wasn't just reactivating because of the weak aura. Reactivating Iron for, I mean. Okay, the patrol's going away. This is ideal. I didn't want to really pull them because they... I don't need them for percent and with the rest of the route, so there's just no reason to. And it can get messy with the the K speaker being in the background, not uh, not being interrupted. But with this mage, I believe we can pull it off because he's been interrupting things to make them move into the group, and that's good. Okay. We have some iron for rolling. We're going to use the AOE group heal to top as many people off as we can. Because when you top someone off after that frenzy thing, uh, they stop bleeding. I also am not going to interrupt any of these. Uh, the heals. The heal doesn't scale with key level, so it really doesn't matter for the purposes of doing the uh, doing the, dun the dungeon on, on a high key level. So you're better off interrupting the earth bolts, which nobody seems to be doing, but... That's fine, let the heal go through. Okay, we got an interrupt on the heal, that's also fine. I don't know if people are focusing Gash Tooth or... Uh this guy, but here's the totem. Hopefully people switch to the totem. I'm gonna try and use as much iron fur as I can before I get incapacitated. Okay, there's a totem. Hopefully I get dispelled. There we go, there's the dispel. I'm gonna survival instance this. Does that charge hurts, even in the best of cases? There we go. I'm going to drop the earth bolt. I don't have another group heal ready to go, but everyone's relatively healthy it seems. Mage could use something for himself, maybe an ice block. There's marked for death, okay, maybe now. Okay, the hunter needs to use his immunity there, but maybe it's on cooldown, I don't know. Just moving away, we can interrupt the trick totem right as the blaze term comes out to make sure that he can stay grouped with the gash tooth and we can just keep DPSing. I'm going to just swerve around that. Gash tooth is down, now we just gotta work down on the trick totem. Very nice, okay. Looking back at it, I definitely overpull at the start. I can already see the title of the video. I overpull at start question mark exclamation point. I already did something similar for the Neltharis. First we wipe, then we stomp, because that's basically what happened. The group was doing really, really well. We wiped at the start, and then we had a rough time. Look here. Yep, 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 yep. Mage already knows what's up, that's good. Okay. Frenzied region, just to keep myself rolling. Okay, we're gonna pull a bit extra because we have Bloodlust rolling for this pack, and we have the tree. I'm going to use a health potion, use an incarnation here. Okay, we have everything rolling, including Bloodlust, so we should be fine here. There's like very, very little chance of us dying here. I'm going to look at the oak to interrupt his little breath, because his breath really hurts. Okay, moving over to the totem, interrupting the breath. The totem has been cleaved down that iron fur up very nice very good bloodlust just need we're grabbing the slimes we're grabbing the rot slinger we're grabbing these guys we're going to stay on this side of the river we're going to use a frenzied regen because we're getting our asses kicked and here is the um rage of the sleeper i'm going to try and move things over to the totem like so Nice, we got a kick on the burst of decay. Our recar is letting us know that we need iron fur back up. We're going to use a frenzied region here because we're getting our ass kicked a little bit. Keep that iron fur up. Very nice. It's a nice simple pull. A nice simple pull to recover some cooldowns, it feels like. Yeah, people are, ho people are holding stuff. Very good. 
The reason there's no cooldowns next to the hunter, by the way, is because I don't... He's beast mastery, right? So I really don't give a shit about his cooldowns. He const... Like, their, the idea of a cooldown for them is, I believe, Bestial Wrath, and Bestial Wrath is just... You want to mash it on cooldowns, so it doesn't really matter. And it comes back up off cooldown very quickly, so... We need to grab these lashers, like so. Actually, making sure I grab lashers. As many as I can. Use... Incarnation here. He stacks up. Nice and healthy. Okay, we got an interrupt by our hunter. The hunter's been doing great on interrupts. I'll use my interrupt on the rot slinger then. I was trying to find him for a while. Just couldn't. Trying to get the totem killed. I need to move. Okay, there we go. I need to switch back to the oak. Oak is the highest HP target, so you should be funneling everything into him. I'll kick that. Hopefully the Rot Slinger doesn't get another cast off. There's a totem coming down soon, but the Rot Slinger will die before, before the totem matters. Here we go. Very nice. Okay, there we go. And the Oak's going down soon. Very nice. So far, so good. Everything going according to plan, other than the fact that I... You know, kind of wiped us with my greedy ass poles, but we're doing fine. It looks good on time right now. 19 minutes, 21 seconds. I feel good about that. I'm not 100% sure, to be completely honest. I don't have much experience. I only have a few runs of this. Just trying to grab the guys in the back, keep my iron fur up. Nice, healthy four stacks of iron fur. Ideally, two is the most efficient amount if you can get by with just two. So you try to just stay on two stacks. There we go. Hunter keeps interrupting. That's beautiful. We're going to use a group-wide heal here because there's a lot of bleeds going out from the little flasher dickheads. Okay, good. We're going to use Incarnation again here. I needed more for this than I needed for the boss. Well, need is a weird word to use. Like, I like to use it more for, the bo for this than the boss. I got stunned there because I moved too close too soon. Almost died because of my dumb... <laughs> I, th I thought somebody was telling the priest to cast Master Spell, but he's saying that he's casting Master Spell. Or maybe he has a weak card that tells him when to cast Master Spell, like if he has enough stacks of Bursting. I don't know. It looks like he needs it because we had six stacks at one point. Maybe we had, maybe we used it on something and then uh, he didn't have it for the six stack. That's fine, I guess. That works too. There we go. Maybe I was being too harsh on him for no reason. I'm probably going to look back at the video and be like, God damn it, I should have just been nice to this guy. Because he was doing everything fine. Unlike me with my iron fur. I'm not being fine with my iron fur. The case spray. That should come over closer. I need to be mindful of uh, interrupting these. We're going to use incapacitating roar. Mage did that. I can tank all of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I can do the first one without using anything. Oh, what the heck? He didn't eat anyone. That happens sometimes, and I have no idea why. I really genuinely don't know. I wonder what it is. Oh well. At any rate, I'm, I'm happy. I don't, that means I don't have to use survival instincts on the next one. I'm very greedy with my survival instincts. I always have it up for much longer than I probably should. Like, I should probably inc incorpor incorpor incorporate. Yeah, incorporate. No, not incorporate. Maybe yes, incorporate. I think... Anyway, I need to include it into the group of things that I use more often. Okay, incapacitating roar. The mage also took care of it. I'm just going to move over to this side. Oh, the poor paladin. I'm keeping him on his toes. He never knows which way I'm going to go. At this point, I'm going to save my... Um, thingy thing. Hold on. Hold on. I need to use brain power. For some reason, I had to use brain power here. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm going to use my um, incarnation once uh, we start fighting. Uh, what's his face? Stink breath. Why am I? My brain is just lagging. <laughs> like, I just can't say what I want to say. Anyway, that's this boss done and dusted. We're going to go over to stink breath. We're pulling just stink breath, unfortunately, because there's just. Uh, there, there's not much we can do here. I need him for percent. He's pretty easy percent. 
Think breath on me, that's good. I can make sure it doesn't hit anyone other than me. Those guys need to spread out. Okay, they're spreading out. There's the violent world. Just need to make sure I don't get hit by it because I'm going to get knocked off into the pit. That iron fur rolling. Spread out again. Not on me, it's on that guy. Nice, he outranged it. You can outrange it if you just stand really, really far away. I think it's like 35 yards or something. I'm not 100% sure on the cast range, but it's pretty nice to avoid it like that if you can. So I guess they didn't need to spread out, like I said. Very nice, he should be going down here. It's on me, that's good. Least likely to die from it. It's a bit bullshit. I think they had nerfed the damage. I'm, I don't recall, but I think they nerfed the damage. I just hope nobody pulls the little gut busters over there, because that would be a wipe for the group, and I don't think we can afford it. 15 minutes should be enough to do the rest of this dungeon, but we'll see. You need to move here quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. Group is doing good. Just making sure they don't pull. Mage Jews invisibility, it seems like. Very good. We have the bear. I'm waiting for the birdies. Where the hell are the birdies? I want the birds. Show me the birds. Where are the birds? There are the birds. Okay. Boom and boom. We'll say I was waiting for this and then I saw that he body pulled. And we're going to go into the boss. Very nice. We're going to use Rage of the Sleeper and go to town on this. Take that Screech. I have an incapacitating roar for the Screech if necessary. I'm going to stand on top of the hyenas and move slightly to the right. That'll immediately... Um, uh, thing them. Incapacitating Roar for the other Vulture that was casting Screech. Very good. MD, is MD gonna happen? No, three stacks is not enough to trigger the weak aura, so the guy's not gonna use it. I, I respect it. I respect it. I'm just gonna turn over this way so I get shot in that direction instead of this direction. Seems like I dodged it again because I didn't get knocked back again. I'm going to interrupt that so we can keep CCing these guys. Taunt this little thing, and we're going to use Incarnation and Heart of the Wild here. I love Heart of the Wild. It's like 40, it's 30% 3 damage. I'm going to root this to help our friend who doesn't get his ass kicked. Very nice. Keep that Iron Fur up. I keep forgetting. Ideally, we would have killed that so we have more traps, but I think we can make this work. Another set of hyenas coming from the bridge. I'm going to use. The yoink back for him here. There we go. Very nice. Let's the mage position. I'm gonna charge back. Probably should have had something rolling for that. I didn't even have iron fur up. Okie dokie. And that should be the boss. Quite smooth, quite smooth. When I stopped over pulling like a dumbass, we definitely got everything done quite nicely. Okay, we're gonna try and intercept this guy so we have to drag him the least amount of time. And to interrupt him immediately. This is a good spot to stop. Just gonna make sure I don't pull the Rot Hexer over there. Frenzied Regen, we're going to taunt that. Incapacitating Roach, interrupt the big swirlies that the caster is dropping. We're going to soothe the Rage Storm. There we go, once it's cast. I'm saving my interrupt now for the War Scourge Fear. I don't want to have to deal with that. He's going to do his Bite, and then he's going to do his Fear. Not particularly efficient. Oh, he didn't do his bite, he just did his fear. Used silence. Next pull. Okay. Uh, the mage was saying bloodlust and cooldown three minutes. Hunter can also use it. need people to not pull this and to get started with this very nice hunter bella okay grabbing this okay this is going to be another the, another uh textbook over pull by definitely not vlad this is a spot for survival instincts we're going to use the group cooldown remove the rage storm keep everything nice and stacked make sure we have enough iron fur it's now or never I messed up my fear. Hopefully people don't. Ooh, don't sleep on the interrupts. Use all my cooldowns here. We have cooldowns rolling on the rest of the group. This should be a nice quick melt, right? We're gonna have a nice quick melt. I didn't fail my fear. I still have a fear. We're gonna battle res this guy because this really, really, really matters. You got an interrupt on that. From the guy I battle res though, that's wonderful. 
Get rid of this. I'm getting rid of this rage storm. We don't need that shit. Nice, nice. This worked a lot better than I expected it to. Kick that. Very nice. You have two kicks available. I'm gonna interrupt that rage storm with my soothe. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna rebuff now that I have some breathing room. That's 90%, 94% enemy forces. We still have a bit to gain over here. We might be missing some. I'm not 100% sure anymore, but I think I did everything I wanted to do in this run including wipe us at the beginning. We have some time left to recover our cooldowns here, so we're gonna use that to kill this rot hexer in this group. I think that should be percent. Yeah, 98%, we're good, dude, this is it. Very nice, very nice. This is a uh, very nice improvement compared to my 20 run on Tyrannical, where my route was absolutely abysmal. I'm just gonna intercept that so the Paladin doesn't have to deal with the tornado. I'm not in threat of dying here, so. Even though my weak aura is beeping at me. <laughs> about using iron fur. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this pull off. And we're gonna go into the boss with some cooldowns, not all cooldowns, but I think that's okay. We can just get started right away. This is looking like a two star. We're gonna point the boss in this direction, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and just walk the boss over into this direction. That way the totem ends up where the rod cloud started. There's the decaying strikes. We're going to immediately use Frenzied region to completely negate that. And there we go, we can go on to the totem. I'm not gonna use my incarnation here, I'll use it on the next totem. Very nice. Just need another totem to go out soon. Here's the decaying strikes, we're gonna frenzied region that away. Very nice, there's the totem. We need to kill it quickly. Ah, oh, we have enough damage to kill it, so I'm not gonna use my Frenzied Arse, so I'm not gonna use my Incarnation. We're gonna put the Rot Cloud here again. Very nice. And once the boss does the totem again, it's gonna cast it over in that direction. Lots of running around as a tank here. We're gonna use our Incarnation and everything here just to get everything rolling. And there's the totem. We're gonna mash the totem into pulp. I've been very bad about my iron fur here, but I honestly, like, I'm not in a threat of dying here, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm mo more focused on positioning the boss correctly. I'm use a frenzied region to negate that healing absorb as much as I can. There it is. I still have incarnation running, so I can do quite good damage to this totem. There it is. Just kill it before this casts. Perfect. Okay. My weak aura telling me that I'm slacking. There's the choking blah blah. Move the boss over to the other side of the room. I'm gonna wait for the healing absorb to go through. Then we're gonna use a frenzied region. There we go. That takes care of it right away. Vikora is beeping at me again. I am mixing in mauls and uh, thingy things. A maul and then a raise. Sometimes, depending on how the totem health is looking. Honestly, I could probably just. I'm all at the start because the boss just isn't there yet, but I think now, after this totem, we just burn the boss and that's it. That's the run. Seven and a half minutes left, just under seven and a half minutes left. Looking good. Even though I fucked up a lot at the beginning with the overpulling, we still managed to time it easy peasy. Well played. Sorry about the start. I just overpulled too many times. I feel like that was a pretty good run of Bracken Hide, honestly. I think it went really well, other than the fact that I killed us a bunch of times at the beginning by overpulling. The first pull, I feel like, went pretty well. A lot of deaths on the second pull, and I'm not sure how to make this second pull easier, other than doing a smaller pull at the start, than having a very small pull here, and then doing this pull. But I feel like that's a waste of a Bloodlust, right? I, don't, I feel like we just don't get enough value out of the Bloodlust if we pull just uh, these three packs and skip this one. I'm not sure. At any rate, I need to watch out for the Fixates. The Claw Fighters do their little Fixate thing, the Vicious Claw Mangle. I need to make sure that I interrupt those either with a Knockback or with my Incapacitating Roar. You can interrupt them with a Knockback if you catch it while they're casting it, not while they're channeling it. This pull was also problematic. Then I tried to do this double pull because we had cooldowns, which we did not have enough cooldowns to do this to be completely honest with you uh, there was only one person who had cooldowns and it's a person who had did less than tank damage in that run so let's just you know 
take it easy and do this in two pulls and then it's easy mode. This ended up being the bloodlust pull instead of this, which I'm perfectly fine with. That was probably because we wiped here. We probably could have done this one with a bloodlust if I hadn't been greedy here, but hindsight is 2020, right? But yeah, other than that, everything went according to plan. I did a huge pull here. We pulled everything together with bloodlust. The hunter used bloodlust. It was beautiful. It was just really well executed. It was a really well executed run. The guys did great. I just messed up over here. But yeah, that's the recap using Mythic Dungeon Tools. That's pretty much what happened in this run. And uh, oh, and I wanted to check how much my Iron Fur uptime was. Let me see here. Auras and Iron Fur, 63%. That's lower than it was. It went from 80 to 70 to 63 now. I'm not exactly proud of this, but it's a lot better than 10%. Let me tell you that. I also realized that I have enough Aspect Crests to go recraft one of my rings. Or I should say my other ring, because I already recrafted one. That's going to be nice. Maybe I hit 444 item level. So the next run we do is going to be a Halls of Infusion. I'm going to drop this down to a 20. I don't really need to do a 22. I'm already scared enough of the dragons in the 20. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's going to be in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching this one. And I'll catch you in the Halls of Infusion.